every time it rains, we end up having storm water running through our property. Running water can and does cause damage. I mean, we may not see it immediately, but over time, the water erodes the sand and substrates away. So here, we've got a gutter that pours directly onto the pavers. And what happens is, the water collects at these low points, seeps in between the pavers into the sandy base, turning it into mud. And with the weight of the car park here, this area has slowly subsided. I mean, look at the level of the pavers here. You already know what's gonna happen the next time it rains. But before we do anything about removing these pavers, sorting out the level surface and putting them back on, we first need to deal with the water that comes out of these drainage pipes. Today, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to build your own drainage system. Let me show you how. So when you do your planning, you need to make sure that you have a negative gradient or downward slope along the entire run of your drain. And by using a fish line and a line level, I've worked out that this is the top of the drain line. And here we can see we are below the level of the manhole cover. This height cannot be changed. Once everything is strung out, I'll start by removing the bricks and keeping them aside. Our drain is going to be two bricks wide and I'm also going to remove the third row of bricks to give me a bit of workspace for the shuttering. Now these drains will be 100 millimeters thick and I've had the shutter board cut to size at builders. To remove the bricks, simply use a pick or a spade Fortunately, these bricks haven't been cemented into place, which makes it easier to remove. Exactly as I suspected, the sun has been out for many days. Look at how muddy this place is. This is where our shuttering will go, and I've left the line in place so we're always aware of our position and levels. Now you may need to remove additional soil until the shuttering matches the level of the fish line. We are now ready to put our shuttering into place and where necessary, I'm simply joining them with an off cut and some tech screws. When you position the shuttering, make sure that it's flush with the fish line as this is the final level. I can then hammer a few metal stakes to hold everything in place, with the stakes being both on the inside and the outside. Now seeing as we're working close to the foundations and walls, I also recommend laying some builder's plastic down first ensure it rises up a bit on the wall side. This will help greatly in reducing moisture seeping in and it prevents rising damp in the walls. And put a few bricks on the plastic to hold it down. We can now mix our cement in a one cement, three sand ratio. Make sure that it's not too wet. I'm also adding some key coats as this will reduce water seeping into the cement and it reduces the porosity of cement start by laying cement into the gully and put it in using a spade and a float to about a quarter of the depth of the gully. Ensure the bed is fully covered and then take a length of 110 mm pipe and lay that firmly into the wet cement where I want the actual gully to run and work that into place before filling up each side, working the cement in well with the trowel. And continue working the pipe to get the concave shape we need. Leave that to dry slightly and then gently work the pipe and remove it by giving it a turn as you start lifting. Now that the pipe is out of the way, I can float it and have everything as smooth as possible before it dries completely. That's it. Now all that's left is for me to give it a bit of time to dry, making sure that I keep the kids and the dogs away from it. I'm just gonna water it every now and then to slow down the drying time. That's gonna avoid the cracks forming on the surface. I gave the concrete a few days for it to cure properly, got the formwork removed and put the paving blocks back in place. Coincidentally, I had a bit of rain come down last night. You already know what I did. I came out to check that it's functioning and it works. Most importantly, it's very neat and tidy, easy to clean and it won't get any blockages. Now remember to get your builders building cement as well as other building accessories both in store or online at builders.co.za and for more videos like this check out the blog on the website get to builders get it done